stag hunt. Again, there are two players, player one and player two. They go on a hunt. They could either hunt stag or they could hair, uh, or they could hunt hare. Now, in order to hunt stag, they need cooperation of each other. And in case if they're able to get stag, then the utility is highest. While here they can hunt individually. So this is the payoff matrix which is given to them. So in case if player one and player two they cooperate and they hunt stag, the utility uh, their their payoffs are three three. While if individual one individually wants to go and hunt for stag, it can't, and his utility is zero. While individual two can hunt individually here, his utility is one because he is able to get at least something. Now, similarly, when individual one goes on individually to hunt for a hare, he could and he will get one. But it, but player two goes on individually to hunt stag, he can't and he will get the utility of zero. While both players, they individually go, they do not cooperate with each other and they individually hunt for here, they could and their their payoffs are 1-1. One, one. Got it? So, what is an equilibrium of this game? Well, in case of player 1 plays tag, the best strategy for player 2 is to choose from either this or this or this would be to, to play tag. So, and if individual 1 plays here, the best strategy for individual 2 is to choose from either 0 or 1. So, the best strategy is to play here. So, when individual 1 plays tag, the best strategy for individual 2 is to play tag. And when individual two play, individual 1 plays here, the best strategy for individual 2 is to play here, which is 1-1. One, one. So, there are two Nash equilibria in this game.